Hi, Genshin Impact, extroverts only. Welcome back. If you're new, extroverts only is my Genshin Impact account where I can only use characters who are considered as extroverts. And yeah, basically that just means half of the character roster is gone. But I still have a fun time and I still have a great time using my favorite characters. I have a great time using some of my favorite characters. So last episode, we managed to pull Navia, which is awesome. I can't wait to use her. Like I was, I considered pulling for her on my main account, but I don't think I'm going to have much use for her. So I figured, Hey, she's an extrovert. Let's go for on extroverts only. And what do you know? We got her. So this is awesome. The new event just started though. And yes, if I'm correct, this weapon, it, it just gives like a crazy attack buff. And then it also gives you like, it's, it's, it also gives you a bonus attack for help for doing Melazine world quests, which is awfully specific if you ask me, but you know, it is what it is. I've, um, yeah, anyway, but so I need a weapon for Navia, as you can see right now, weapons are looking pretty, pretty bland. Like I've only got some blood tainted great swords and then <laughs> these two. So, you know, a four star weapon would be great. And apparently, you know, I've watched a couple of videos and apparently, hey, it's pretty good on her. It's yeah. So I think we're going to be tackling the quest, for the main, the main event, and then we'll try and get that weapon and try and diversify our Navia's weapon kit. No, I just need a weapon like this. Like I, I'm not running Navia on debate club. So yeah, anyway. So I just did a bit of the, I've just been doing a bit of the event. It's almost over, but I've managed to get myself the, you know, new event weapon, the ultimate overlord, whatever thing. And it, you know, it's, it's a pretty good um, free to play weapon for Navia. I'm not exactly opposed to, um, you know, pulling on the weapon banner because like, you know, verdict, verdict, it would be great on Navia. And the miss splitter would be great, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I had the primus to do that. And the miss splitter would just be great on any general sword character. I mean, the only one I've got here right now is Kaya and Kuki. Uh, I don't think I've got any other relevant sword characters. But in the future, that could be that could be something that's pretty clutch because the miss splitter is just a great weapon in general. Um, yeah, aside from that. Uh, you know, that's pretty much the main progress that's been going on right now. I know I got to get better artifacts for Navia, but like, you know, before AR45, I'm not getting those gold artifacts, which is kind of what I want. So it's kind of whatever right now. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm thinking that I'm going to ascend now so I can continue going on with the Archon quest because we need to make we need to make way more progress throughout all of this. Uh throughout all of these and like trying to actually get through the main story of it because it is taking me forever. Oh, I haven't done my dailies. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Oh yeah, the other thing that I need to do is get Geoculus. Make sure that I don't, you guys need to remind me about that, man. Like I keep forgetting that I need to start collecting all the Geoculus so that I can get more stamina because I've just been sitting at like, not half stamina, but like, you know, I've been sitting at this like subpar stamina for way, way, way too long. So I got to make sure that gets up. And we got a quick one pull. See what we get. And none. Oh, I feel like I remember this old, old Ascension quest. Maybe I thought, not that, was it hard? No, I think there was some, there was a different reason why. I think I also remember just running straight past these guys. Was it? Was it because it was hard? When I remember something in relation to this game, it's usually because it was hard. Or I feel like, you know, I'm just like, oh, it was super memorable or something like that. So, who knows? But I do remember this. Maybe it's because I had no idea what I was doing at the time. And I'm just like, oh, what's this? Yeah, okay, so that just wasn't hard, like, at all. <laughs> Oh wait, no, we're not at the end of it. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. This part is where it should be tricky, right? Well, let's send them up. Let's go. All right, cool. We unlock story quests. Okay, and that boosts me all the way up to AR twenty-seven. 
I should have like less restrictions. Like for example, I couldn't upgrade the Wid Sith before. And I still can't. I need an adventuring 30. Okay. But you know, I can actually like level up my thing. Oh, my world level's level two. Cool. I'm kind of scared though because I don't I'm not I don't feel underpowered, but I like low-key think that I am. So yeah. I hope I don't just get absolutely decimated by like every single enemy that I see. But you know, it's fine. And that is another two. Uh there's another two acquaint fates, so we can see what we get. Man, eh, nothing. To be honest, it'd be great just to pick up another character. I need some more variety. As much as I don't like him, I think Bennett would be a great pickup just because of the um, buff for Navia. But yeah. Uh, but with this, with this now, that we are th this higher adventure rank, we can start doing some more world quests and stuff like that. Oh, that's the... Oh, I gotta do the main uh, event story. But then I can also do Zing Shu's story quest, I guess. Main quest, story quest thing. Whatever, it's the one with Zing Shu. Okay, we're at the point in the event where I've gotten enough refinements to be able to R5... To be able to R5 the um, new event weapon. So let's bump that up. So that's a sweet extra 24%. And I have to do the Melzine quests in order to like get the maximum out of the passive. I think it's kind of cool that Genshin's actually like making you do world quests and you know general exploration quests in order to like maximize a weapon and like to maximize your damage. So it's actually not just like a complete waste of time. But yeah. Wait, I can't use shoot. No, 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 I can't use shoot. And that's the first Geoculus collected. So I need to run through this. I'm gonna pull out the good old I'm gonna pull out the good old Genshin interactive map and we're gonna try and find a whole bunch more. Try and get my stamina finally up to the max before I start doing all the Melzine quests and stuff. Oh, I'm finally AR28. So he does. That means I can start focusing more on the main quest again. I've just been collecting Geoculus, Geoculuses and all that junk and whatever. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. AR28? A teapot to call home. <gasps> okay, complete a new star approaches. Okay, so I can do the teapot soon. Oh, that's excellent. Because teapot is a whole bunch of free primos and also I just like, I liked um, building my... Uh, teapot just a little bit, but um, that's really good. I want to see how many Geocluses I've got so far. I think I've only got like 10, 15, something like that. But um, you know, but that's still a little bit of Primer Gems and hopefully a bit of a stamina buff as well. Oh, 27. <laughs> uh, it's probably, you know, plus a couple that I haven't been, you know, that I've just been randomly collecting as I just ran around, not like necessarily like specifically getting. But yeah, okay, that's sweet. To AR28, let's go. Let us go. This might be a little bit of a problem because this is a wind activated um, mechanism thing. So you need to have an Animo character to use it. And I've just come across some very unfortunate news. I presume the Traveler would be an extrovert because, you know, he's kind of the one doing this crazy quest and all that junk. But, um, yeah, it turns out he's an introvert. So that means I can't use his Animo to activate this wind equipment thingy. And to top it off, all the two other Animo characters that I have are Sayu and Lynette. So Sayu most definitely is not an extrovert. And Lynette is also most certainly not an extrovert. So I have to sit here and somehow find a way. My first idea was the wind catcher, 
which is like a gadget from Monstat that you get. It's like basically putting Venti's glide thing. It's like a craftable Venti's glide. But I don't know if it's going to trigger this. But, you know, I'm still willing to give it a shot. But, I mean, in terms of that, I mean, I guess I got the old beginner's wish is still here. But um, the in terms of the characters that I can get from it, the only characters I could possibly, that could possibly help me would be Gene. Sucrose I'm not allowed to use, which is such a shame because Sucrose is on this banner, so she has a higher ARP chance as well. And, um, yeah, so the only... So I'd have to get lucky, get a five-star on the beginner's wish, and then also for it to be specifically Jean. Or I could maybe try and pull on the standard banner and maybe once again go for Jean or Faruzan or Hazo. If one of those three came along, that would be great, but the chance of that is not something I'm willing to bet on. So... Uh, you know, and that's and that's sixteen hundred primogems just down the drain, but it's something that I'm likely not going to get. So I don't really want to do that either. So I'm kind of at a stalemate here. So I think my plan is for now is to just try and get my one stat reputation up to level three. Craft a um wind catcher. Pray to God that it's going to work, so that I can trigger that. And then if not, then I'm just going to have to keep pulling, <laughs> or maybe. Is there some other way that I can maybe Animo Slimes? No, I checked the area. The only thing there was like a Ruin Grater. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to find out some shenanigans that will somehow work. Oh, God, this is going to be a pain. <laughs> Not being able to use Traveler. My one weakness. I'm vulnerable to Cryon Hydra. Fine by me. So apparently, like I'm level 3 in Reputation in Mondstadt now. Which means I can craft the wind catchers, which is the little vent portable venti gadget thingies that allow you to create a wind current wherever the hell you are. But apparently you need to kill the animo hypostasis a couple of times for the hurricane seeds. So I'm stuck doing that for now. Okay, I finally crafted I finally crafted the wind catcher, right? So essentially what this does is it's kind of like Venti's what the fuck? And I didn't realize I had to collect Anemograna, which is like those little things that you hit, and once you hit three of them, like those little fairy things, and if you hit three of them, then it creates a wind current. I have to collect them. Oh my god, now I've got to climb this mountain again. Okay, so I finally um, got enough for my wind catcher. Uh, I got enough of the Anemonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimon
Is Skyward Pride better than Ultimate Overlords? Okay, so I'm kind of concerned about our party building right now. It was very cool that we just managed to get Charlotte, which I think we could probably make good, some good use for her in the future. But um, yeah, so basically the, the team that are, that's here right now is literally, I was just thinking, well, Navia gets a buff for each team, for each element that she can crystallize with. So, you know, we got Pyro for Amber, we got Cryo for Charlotte, we got um, Electro for Lisa. Um, you know, so that, that'll that just give Navia a nice attack buff. But they, there's like almost zero synergy. And in terms of characters that we can utilize, we've got like... <laughs> We've only got a couple of characters that we can realistically use right now. So that's why I'm thinking for now, I'm just going to run like this mad budget um, Hyper Bloom-ish team. So it's basically just going to be Hyper Bloom, except I weave in Navia elemental skills to hopefully do big damage, considering that she'll probably be doing most of the damage. Because, you know, Navia, it's my only five star so far. And then eventually in the future, I can replace Lisa for Kuki, which should be maybe be a little bit more fluid and then maybe in the future we can get a better dendro unit than Kave. but in terms of dendro units i don't think we got that many to look forward to but you know it, it's it's it should, it's fine for now it's fine for now um candace is awesome i just love her but she's not going to be particularly good either i think in terms of other hydro characters we definitely need some more, but they're all going to be pretty much five stars, so they're going to be hard to come across. So Candace is going to have to do for now. My big concern, though, is like Candace, Candace's infusion over Navia's Geo infusion. Like I'm pretty sure it'll take priority, but I'm just not 100 percent sure. Anyway, I want to see how this feels. Let's go, let's try and attack this guy. All right, I'm gonna trigger Lisa Oh, Cave. And then a bit of blooms, hyper blooms, Navia. Okay. So that felt that felt all right. I mean, that wasn't a real rotation because I had no idea what I'm doing because these characters are not the most optimal characters to be played together. But um, you know that 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 I can at least I can at least get through content like this. And like to be honest, I can just rely on Navia. I could probably solo content with just Navia by herself, and you know whatever crystallized reactions. But I think it's good that we have. Um, I think this will be the good, a good baseline for a team right now. I want to see if there's any artifacts that we can like tweak or edit for now. Like, I mean, we could be. I'm sure there's some ways that we could be buffing each of them. Um, in terms, I don't think I've got many four star artifacts though, and I'd like to. I'd like to have a set on four stars. What about martial artists? Normal and charged. After using elemental skill, normal and charged. That should be. That's all right on Navia, but it's not crazy either. I think Berserker would probably just be the best one at this stage. Um, but in terms of Berserker artifacts, the only ones I've got are three stars. So like, you know, I'm sitting here. Oh, Geo Damage Bonus. Let me switch to that. Actually, you know, I might upgrade that. That actually sounds kind of good. Geo Damage and go roll into, of course, roll into flat defense. Flat HP isn't bad enough. Whatever. In the early game, oh, crit damage. In the early game, main stats is pretty much the only thing that matters. It's like, you know, you're not getting, you're not getting any good rolls anyway. So it's whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I got Navi on Berserkers for now. Um, I guess, what would we put Candace on? Maybe, maybe we can put her on a support set. I don't think it really matters. I don't think in terms of sets that we have right now, I don't think it really matters what I put Candace on as long as I just get something to try and buff her stats up. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we got... Two-piece Berserkers, two-piece Adventurers on Candace. So that's, you know, two-piece, two-piece. I suppose we can work with that. Carve's on full Instructors, although... Oh, God. Oh, uh, it's because it's EM, isn't it? Do I have a better EM? Ooh, got EM there. Let me switch to that. Let me switch to that. Okay, so that's... um. We got Carve on Instructors. And then Lisa can also go on Berserkers, I suppose. I don't know. Lisa's on the Wid Sith right now, so that can give her the EM buff or the attack, but or the attacking buffs. So uh, maybe I should just put her on two piece Berserkers, two piece 
instructors and get like a mixed attacker of some kind. I think that would be good. Yeah, actually, I'm going to settle for that. Two piece berserkers. Berserker flower. And then two piece instructors. I think I'll take that. So this is what we're looking at right now. I got to level these up, but I've got Navia on berserkers, just classic three star artifacts. I got Candace on two piece adventurers to increase her max HP because she scales off HP and a bit of crit rate. And then I've also got um, instructors on Kave because that's actually just a really good set for any Dendro character, even late game. Instructors is awesome. Um, and then, although usually Deep Woods would take priority, but if you have two Dendro characters on one team, for example, you would do something like Instructors and Deep Woods, which would boost your any of your Hyper Blooms or Burgeons or Blooms or whatever damage quite a bit. And then I've just got Lisa on like a two-piece Instructors, two-piece Berserkers. So yeah, kind of a mishmash team. I do got to level, I got to level up, oh God, I definitely need to level up some weapons. Oh yeah, definitely need to level up some weapons, but I also got a, I got, I think I got a little bit of artifact fodder that I can just, you know, put into these guys to start trying to level them up a little in eensy, eensy bits, you know, but yeah, that's where I'm currently at. In terms of what I want to do next time is that, look, I am at a stalemate with the, I'm at, I'm at a bit of a stalemate with the um, main story crest right now, because I need to hit that windmill I need to hit that windmill thing and I don't have an animo character to hit it with. So look, uh, maybe the traveler counts, but I, I, I checked the site and it insists that traveler is an introvert. So I guess I can't use traveler and I can't use sucrose who's on banner. I can't use Sayu who I already have and I can't use Lynette who I already have. And I don't think Jean, I don't, I thought Jean was an extrovert, but I guess not. So I'm really not looking pretty for that. So I'm going to have to get pretty lucky for that. But otherwise, the the other stuff that I have to do is that I haven't got all of the um, Geoculus yet, but I will need to, I will need to get all of those. And then also I want to get the, I want to do the Melazine quest so that I can upgrade the ultimate overlord weapon, whatever, the free to play event weapon that I'm using for Navia. And particularly you'd like to get that done, not done because I'm still like AR. What, what AR am I? I'm like AR28? Yeah, I'm still AR28. But um, I would like to get that buffed up before it is time for the event to get over. And I can, you know, save, save me some, mater some materials and stuff like that. Well, if you made it this far into the video, you probably don't mind my content. So make sure to subscribe so you can follow the journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.